Hey everybody, welcome back to Unintended Acceleration. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little less stressful and we're gonna be cracking open one of these throttle actuators. Um, I imagine the gears are bad in this thing. It hasn't been opened up or changed in 101,000 miles, but today we're gonna to find out. Uh, let's have some fun, open this thing up, not a lot of stress, and see what's going on with this hunk of junk. Let's open up this bad boy. It is a bad boy. You know why? Because they break all the time. All right, guys, so here's our throttle actuator right here. Um, we're gonna use Milwaukee drill with a T20. I've got a really, really tiny flathead right here, a little bigger one right here, and a plastic trim tool right here. Um, it looks like all we gotta do is take one, two, three, four, five super tiny ones. I don't know if you guys can see those right there. So all right guys, so we added one more tool to our chest here. Um, this is a T7. That is tiny. So we've got this T7, we've got a T20, and some small flat heads and a trim tool. Um, an Audi trim tool. I don't think BMWs like Audi trim tools, but we're about to find out. Well, let's get started on this stupid thing. I'm just being kind of lazy, so. All right, guys, so we've got one, two, three, four, and five. So now we'll undo these tiny ones right here. I don't know if you can see those. These look like they should go in eyeglasses or something. There's one. Oh, shaking much? See how scared my hands get when I'm working on BMWs? Oh, I feel like that's how they put this engine together when they were measuring for rod bearings. <laughs> oh, man. It's all fun and games till you're doing it. So how easy is this going to come apart? I think all we got to do is pry. We'll just go around slowly. It's pretty flush on this side, so it's going to be kind of hard to pry it. Just keep from over here. And it's just about to pop open. Sorry, it's hard to do this in reverse. There she goes. Oh man. I'm gonna let you guys have the first look. I don't even want to look, guys. What's it look like? What does it look like in there? Well, the board looks good. Guys. So if we look right here, honestly. Man, I've seen some really bad ones on some YouTube videos. Maybe they fixed it in 2008, guys. I mean, I don't see all that lubrication that everybody says gets caught in between the gears. I mean, you see a little bit of stuff right there, but I bet you that I could not do anything to these and they'd probably be fine. Uh-oh. You guys see what I see, though? That gear down there ain't looking too happy, is it? If you look right here, you can see the nice flat spot on that tooth. And then look how it kind of gets worse. And then pretty soon down here, there's no flat spots at all. So what started out as happiness ends in usual throttle actuator fashion, guys. But... Nevertheless, let's open up this other bad boy and see if it's any worse or better. Kind of hope it's worse. I want to see a really bad one. Got the gears anyways, so who cares? You can see that sill right there. So 
We'll just pop this baby down. We'll just get these started, a thread, two threads, whatever. So we gotta duct tape this thing back together. That's okay. Oh, in Milwaukee, I'm sick of buying all your tools. Why don't you like give me some to try out, specifically a torque wrench, that'd be nice. Okay, let's zoom these back in. Put these little ditty dads back in there. Like seriously, BMW. This should be a test for Parkinson's or something. If you can put these screws in, you're safe. If you cannot, and no offense to anybody out there, I guess I probably shouldn't have said that, huh? And by the way, guys, where's all the S85 content? Like, seriously? Man, my big block was so easy to put together. There's like five billion resources out there. S85 is like nada. Okay, let's crack open number two. You guys are proud because I can count to five, huh? I know. Thanks. See if this prize any better than the last one. It actually came off pretty easy. Yeah. All right, guys. Let me bring this around to you. Let's check it out together. How's this one look? It's always that bottom gear, huh? What do you guys think? I don't... I mean, those don't... Those aren't looking too hot. There's like no flat spot on those. So I'm thinking... Must be that bottom gear that's all the problems, huh? I thought it was this top gear that I saw in one of the videos that was really, really bad. And he was cleaning out a bunch of stuff in here but see I'm not seeing that I mean you can see a little bit of dried stuff but man he was scraping out tons in all the teeth so anyways guys if you've got a hundred thousand miles on your M5 you're probably safe for a little bit but you know those gears are starting to not look so hot and once those babies start going you're gonna have some issues so this is what we found after a hundred thousand miles the throttle actuators are probably still good but there's probably a little bit more backlash than there should be there I really don't know how that would affect idle or responsiveness or anything like that but it shows us that after a hundred thousand miles you might want to look at at getting those replaced Hey guys, thanks for watching. This was really fun, just nothing stressful, breaking these hunks of crap open and seeing what they look like after 100,000 miles. So now we know if you guys have got a BMW E5 M60 um, and you're around 100,000 miles, you know that your throttle actuators are probably starting to look like that inside. See all that residue in there? That's gear material. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, I know we didn't really achieve anything as far as a fix, um, but at least at least we came to the conclusion that this is what happens after 100,000 miles. 
and what you guys should do to plan to repair that. Tomorrow I hope to be, what do I hope to be doing tomorrow? Well, tomorrow's gonna be the big day. What we're gonna do tomorrow is I'll finish stretching um, my right cylinder head. Remember I lost that, that washer. Well, I found that head bolt washer. I was able to torque my heads down to 30 foot pounds. I'll do the stretch tomorrow. Um, I didn't want to do too much because it's pretty cold outside right now. So I'll do that. I won't make a video of that because I know I already made a 28 minute boring video on that. Um, but we're gonna start putting the cams in tomorrow on the heads. Uh, that's gonna be fun. And this is what people want to see. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, and let's get this M5 back on the road so we can do some burnout videos instead of burnt out videos. Hey, thanks guys. I appreciate all your support, your subscribes. Um, you're awesome. Thank you.